Hi, I'm Darren from Isotonic Studios and I'm just going to put a brief video together on the latest update for Everbeat's Melody Source that we just pulled together this morning. Now, Melody Source has been one of our most controversial devices. It, it's so blindingly simple, um, it's a music generator, it generates melodies. Now, the reason it's been so controversial is many people have accused us of dumbing down uh, the creation of music and melodies. Um, there's been music generators around for years. Many step sequences and the like. Our own arcade series is a set of generative se sequences to create melodies, chords and beats and the like. The thing that's different with this is that for the last 18 months, Charlie and the, the team at Everbeat have been analysing the melodies of hits on Spotify and iTunes and analysing what makes those melodies so popular. Putting that together as an algorithm and now releasing it as a Max for Live device melody source. In essence, the device, with the click of a button and the selection of a few set choices, produces melodies millions of times over without repeating. Let's have a look how we've updated it, taken some feedback on board. It's been one of our most popular devices to date, so it must be doing something right. Let's have a look at the device now. Okay, so Melody Source itself is a Max for Live MIDI device, so it will sit on a MIDI track and it sits in front of your instrument. So I've got nothing else going on in this set apart from the Melody Source device and a wavetable which is set up with the fake reverb preset and after it I've got the Gamma Rays uh, chorus preset as well. So very, very simply, you can set the key, the speed, uh, transpose. Um, you can of course use the uh, MIDI pitch device as well if you want to change um, the output of the notes and you can change swing so it's on or off. Now unlike most of the generative MIDI Max for Live devices this one doesn't create notes in the device itself to play instruments to the right of it it actually exports its notes into the clip slots. So as you can see, I've dropped the melody source onto this track and it is actually armed. Now, let's see what we can do with it. First off, this new version is MIDI mappable entirely. Uh, before we only had the key, the speed and the transpose, we've added swing and each of the nine options that you have for creating uh, the melodies are there. And the melodies are created based on, on the grid that you see, which has simple, complex, and both, or convolution at the top and downwards, vertically. Uh, we have the mood between like, dark, and both. So with this version, we've also updated it to have interaction and integration with the Ableton push. So you can set the key directly from the push and the speed as well. Set your transpose and your swing, and you can set your convolution. Let's go, let's go for complex and dark. Now, if you want to create a melody directly from the push, then we've given you a create chosen option here. Um, if you just click on any of these buttons in the device itself, or if you've MIDI mapped to those buttons as well, then it will also trigger a new clip. Now that new clip is going to be recorded into the first free clip slot and each time you trigger a new clip it will work down and down and down and down until you get to the end of the available clip slots in which case it will start at the start and start overwriting your first clip slot. So let's have a look at what it can do. Remember no backing track, no preparation so this may or may not work but that's the point of it. It's going to generate millions of different melodies, so let's have a go.